If you're looking for the best electronic cleaning scrubber, then this video is for you. I tried out three different electronic scrubbers. I'm gonna be going over the pros and cons of each of them and letting you know what I think is the best one. So with these, keep in mind this video isn't sponsored by any of these electric cleaning brushes that you see right here. This is based purely my first-hand experiences and opinions with these products. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first one you have is from SZ Fixes, okay? So this is their electronic scrubber cleaner that you see right here. So I got the blue version. So to insert any of these cleaning scrub attachment heads, you simply just insert the head vertically. Okay, so I've got this one installed. Turn it on, see what that looks like. So overall, just a one button push mechanism. Keep it simple, I do like it. Um, I like how it doesn't take up a lot of room. Okay, so this is a very, very short handle. Um, if you don't plan on reaching up into higher places, uh, like me, whenever I'm, whenever I'm cleaning my bathroom or sink, I only need it to be like hands length. Okay, I don't need something that's super long. So I do like this so far. All right. Uh, let me go over the actual, uh, the different type of brush heads that they have. So they have this one here. Afterwards, they have like a smaller one. This one here. All right. In comparison, this one here. This one here. Uh, some more brush heads. They've got this one here. Okay. And then they have a cloth brush head, which is pretty neat. They have this one here. All right. So with this one, the cloth head, it does detach. It's just Velcroed in. So you can pull this off. You can just throw this in the washer, which is neat. Um, lastly, one thing I do want to note is that this charges via... Let me see how it charges. So I see that there's an outlet here. So this is actually pretty neat because they know that this is gonna be used in places like sinks, places where water damage can possibly occur. They've actually got this neat protecting mechanism in which you open this up, there's their charger portion. But what actually happens is that it actually has a secondary protection to cover the inlet so it doesn't get wet. So you can't really see it because the camera's not focusing, sorry. But it basically has like a two-step protection mechanism to make sure that the charging port doesn't get wet. So that's actually really, really neat. Um, it is wired. It, it's not wired, sorry. It's portable, okay, as you can see right here. But to charge it, of course, you have to plug it into the wall. So very neat. I'm actually quite impressed that they're doing that extra step to make sure that the charging port uh, doesn't get wet and it doesn't get damaged. But overall, I really like it, okay? I don't need like the extending feature of it. Um, the nozzles themselves, they're very easy to attach, okay? Very, very easy to attach. Um, again, a one speed type brushing mechanism. Oh, and lastly, it's got this neat carrying case to kind of keep everything all together, which is so something that I really, really do appreciate, okay? Keeping all the brush heads together. I know that for me, someone who has a vacuum, um, it's kind of difficult to keep all the different uh, vacuum heads in place, but with something like this, this is definitely necessary in order to keep all these brush heads in place. Now, moving on to the electronic scrubber from Airfur. This is what it looks like here. I got the gray version, and so if I turn it on, it's got two different brushing modes. So me personally, I don't really find it necessary to have two different brushing modes. I feel like it's gonna clean the same regardless. But one thing I do point out, want to point out is that this does sound louder. Okay, compared to the other one, it does sound louder. And just like the other ones, the brush heads, you just simply insert vertically and or inserts vertically, takes out vertically. Um, as far as the different brush heads go, uh, you got everything here. So you got this one here. You got different scrubbers here. Okay, so I imagine that this one could actually attach to this Velcro portion here. So this is actually a Velcro. So you could attach the sponge here, just like that. You could also attach this one to it, attach a more hard one to it. So what I'm seeing here is like, you could actually use this to kind of scrub your dishes, it looks like. Uh, you've got the other bristled brushes here, right? More different bristled brushes. So uh, me personally, I don't find it super necessary to have all these different brush head attachments to, uh, for me. It just seems like it's harder to keep everything all together. Uh, more different scrubs and pads, okay? Again, I don't think it's necessary. Some people might be cool to have like 10, 10 different brush heads, but keeping it, when I'm cleaning, I like keeping it to a minimum. Uh, one thing I also really need about this, it actually does come with a kind of adhesive wall carrying mount. 
right there. And then lastly, you have the pole extension arm. So this is quite interesting. So with this, you can kind of see how this works in which you got the main handle here. So if I insert this here, okay, right, it is secured by this locking mechanism. This portion here basically screws in just like that. And then there you have it. So what actually has to happen is that while this is extended, so this could actually extend maybe about an extra foot and a half with these two metal bars that you see here. So after you press this button on, that's when you actually hold this up, okay? So it's a bit of a weird way to actually clean. You have to press the button first while you actually have this in arm's reach. And afterwards you go ahead and extend and actually start cleaning up and above. So with this, it is an extendable arm, but like I said, if you're not an individual who needs to clean something that's way further up, then maybe that's not necessary. So with this one, the air fur, they really pride themselves in seeds it seems and having like a 10 piece mechanism electronic brush set. Um, the, the wall mount's pretty cool. The different brush heads is pretty cool. But again, with me, someone who's cleaning, I don't find it necessary to have all these different uh, brushled or bristled heads, okay? So we've got four different kinds here. And then also you've got like four different surface sponge areas here, okay? So that's, this is like one, two, three, four, five. All right, so again, if that's something that interests you and if also if you need to reach uh, tall places, then this works out perfectly. But even so, it's a bit louder. You can reach up and up, you can reach up in taller places. I'm really trying to think at what point would I need to reach taller places or places where I'm not scrubbing down. So me, like I said with the other one, I like it having a handheld, like a shorter one and actually getting in there and scrubbing. I don't necessarily need to reach up and far, but overall, very neat. Um, let's go ahead and move on to the next electronic scrubber. This is the electric scrubber from Hamiko. So to turn it on, you do have to press and hold down the button and wait until it turns on. But then it's got two different modes as far as the scrubbing goes. For the attachment heads, you just need to pull out vertically and insert vertically. Now, if you want to use this as the more handheld version, it looks like, uh, I don't think you can, okay? so. Yeah, so right now it looks like this is the main charging system. Okay, this electronic scrubber. It won't, you don't have like a handheld version of it, okay? You do have to have this connected to something, the extendable head just like this. So I don't, I could be wrong, but I believe that it has to be this long in order to start scrubbing. So you can still kind of hold it from down here if you want to get in there and scrub, but it's not, its use case isn't necessary for like the sinks or something where it's like up and close. This does look like that's how, that's the shortest it's gonna get. And it actually can even get longer. Okay, it has like an extension piece. So if I push this one here, push this one here, it does go longer, okay? So right now you can't even see it on the camera but it does go longer uh, if you press and hold it. Okay, that's what it looks like. So now I can even have two hands on it while I'm scrubbing. So this for me is maybe more so better for like window cleaning, I imagine, where you need to go up and high in the windows. But turning it off, let me actually show you all the different bristle heads that are included. So detaching seems to be very, very easy. No problems with it whatsoever. But for the different bristle heads, You've got this one here, which is like a pointed bristle head for corners. You've got this one here. You've got this one here. Okay, it's like a circular bristle head. You've got this one here, which is like a flat bristle head. Okay. Uh, seems like you have two pointed ones, so I'm not sure why that's necessary to have two different pointed ones. And that's about it. So for this one, it's again, a longer electronic scrubber. Great for windows, great for like, uh, outdoor cleaning, I, I imagine. But overall, oh, and it also does come with a hanging scrubber. But overall, that's about it. So if I had to choose, uh, I'd say best overall. I do like the SZ Fixes hand scrubber, just because it's close to you. I don't really need one that needs to be up and tall, but this one here is what I'm talking about as far as what I feel is the best overall. It's got the attachment hands. It's got a way to kind of keep everything up and close. And also really neat, it's got this protective mechanism in which to prevent water from actually damaging uh, the electronic power scrubber. As far as like if you need to reach high places, 
I would probably go with the versatile air fur electronic scrubber just because this can both be used on like a handheld uh, close range okay but then if you need to reach high places you can actually twist this on turn it on and then go ahead and reach those high places so for that you have like a both range of like a close and then like a extended arm for electronic scrubbing uh, so that itself I really appreciate I guess the added plus to that is like you get all these bristle heads and all these different surfaces for different surface areas as well. But I would probably go secondary with the Airfur electronic scrubber. So 